Hello, my name is George C. Bradley, and today's lesson is on how to conduct a multiple regression analysis using SPSS. Multiple regression is used to determine the correlation between a criterion variable and a combination of two or more predictor variables. It is one of the most widely used statistical techniques in educational research. The popularity of multiple regression stems from its versatility and the amount of information it yields about relationships among variables. Let's take a look at our data set. The data set is HSB 500 and that's 500 data set and it stands for high school and beyond. Our criterion variable or our dependent variable is math achievement. Math achievement is a 25 item mathematical achievement test which scores ranges from negative 8.33 to 25. We have three predicted variables and the first is visual and visual is a 16 item test of visualization in three dimension for determining how a three dimensional object would look and the range the score ranges from the scores ranges from negative 4 to 16 and the second predicted variable is mosaic and it is a 56 item test evolving the detection of relationships and patterns of tiles and the scores range from negative 28 to 56 and our final predicted variable is father's education and that's the highest level of the father's education and the value goes from 2 to which is less than high school to 10 which is a PhD or MD or other advanced degree. Let's look at our objectives. Objective 1 determine the regression model and objective 2 is to determine the R the, the R and the R square capital R and capital R square and number 3 determine whether the multiple R is statistically significant and we want to determine whether we want to determine the relative importance of the independent or predicted variable. Right here we have the assumptions of the multiple linear regression. And we have six right here. We will not go over these assumptions in this presentation. We will save that for another presentation but we want to let you know that these assumptions needs to be tested before we actually run our regression equation. Let's take a look at our data set here in SPSS and we talked about one of the four variables that we'll use. Let's go to analyze and we will go to regression and we'll go to linear and as you can see, we have one slot here for our dependent variable, and that will be math achievement. Again, we have visual, mosaic, and we have father educational level, and we'll put that in our independent. We have a few statistical information. We only want to use our square change when we're doing hierarchy regression, but we can look at our demographic information and we can quick click on a few others here this residual information here we're not going to use that not going to look at the plots right now we're not going to save anything we'll try to save one if I have time I'll go through it and that's the unstandardized um, predicted value we'll need that okay and I don't have options nothing for options 
and right here we can click on this information and let's see basically what we have okay we have our descriptive information let's go here our descriptive statistics we have the means and the standard deviation of math achievement we have visual the mean and the standard deviation I gave you the ranges before and you can see the educational level average educational level and standard deviation here and you can look at mosaic and you can see in the end we have 500 normally with multiple regression we would run our correlation coefficient first and normally the things that are significant and highly correlated with the criterion variable are things that you look at you would look at the information in between to see if there's anything within the predicted variables that are highly correlated that could affect the outcome of your dependent or criterion variable as we move down we can look at the variables that were in or we used to in, in enter method so all of the three variables were entered and none were removed and let's go here to our model summary as we go to our model summary here we can see that was with objective two we can see the multiple the r square we can see the multiple correlation coefficient which is capital r there and that's um, 0.517 but we really want to look at these r squares here the r squares are the coefficient of determinant and that tells us that the three predicted variables that 26 percent well let's look at the adjusted 26.3 percent influences influences math achievement which is the criterion variable we said we wanted to see if the significance of r square and as we go down here to ANOVA we can see that that's significant and when that's significant the coefficient model down here is significant so r the actual multi correlation coefficient is significant because we can see that with our ANOVA here and determining the multiple regression model that's here we have our constant and then we have our coefficient here we have our regression coefficient and we have our constant and this right here would be the B and as you can see that we have the unstandardized coefficient which would be the um, regression coefficient and this right here is the standardized coefficient which we call the standardized coefficient the different there one has a constant and the other one doesn't and as you can see right here each one is statistically significant because this is below 0 0.05 so right there we would have an opportunity to see that each one of our independent variables each one of our independent variables is a significant predictor to our criterion variable to our criterion variable now let's take a look at how that works let's go here and let's compute let's go to pre and math achievement and let's put right in here our constant which would be 3.918 plus and we would put our parentheses there 
and then we would put in our first coefficient which would be visual we would put the regression coefficient and that would be 6.623 times and let's put visual in there okay plus we'll go here again and our next would be um mosaic and then we would put one one seven times and we would put mosaic plus i'm sorry that's not plus here let's get out of that and we'll close it let me see can i close that right there i can close it right this way and I'll go again and hit the parentheses there, and that would be 0 0.520 times, and that would be the father's educational level. And right there, that's our model. Right there, we have our model, and I'll hit OK, and I'll go back to the database. And as you can see, it's now predicting math achievement. And as you can see, I clicked on unstandardized. And you can see you have a few more decimal places here. We don't have the precision that we have here. And let me go back and show that again why we didn't have the precision right here. The system took it um, six or seven decimal. So as you can see, right here, we only took it um, to about two. And if we would take it to a few more decimal places, it would be close. But using the math achievement and the actual three independent variables, we had an opportunity to, to develop a model. And once again, um, for our model here with our unstandardized coefficient, that our constant term and we had our regression coefficients here and basically it gave us um, this equation this equation here with our constant we have our coefficient visual we have our coefficient we have our variable our coefficient our variable we have our our, our um, predicted math achievement are there any questions? If you have any questions pertaining to this presentation, please email me at georgecbradley59 at gmail.com. georgecbradley59 at gmail.com. Thank you.